Hello everyone, uh, this is Chris again with Crystallization and uh, today I'm just going to walk you really quickly um, just over the OpenCard backend. So this is a custom store. We are on pinkdaliaboutique.com and uh, I'm just going to run right to the backend. So this is what you see. It's a default page called the dashboard of what you see when you log into the back end of your store. And uh, let's run through. You know, your dashboard pretty much shows you your sales stats, you know, how many customers, total sales for the year, um, what your average is, um, you know, in terms of sales per customer, your last 10 orders, things like that. Um, catalog. The catalog pretty much consider, look, look at your catalog as, um, as a book, you know, this is where, this is everything and anything to do with the actual products and categories. You know, manufacturers, options for products. You know, you have uh, the category section right there. You can add categories or subcategories or sub subcategories or sub sub subcategories. I mean, the, the list goes on. You have your section for products. You can add products. You can edit products. You can even clone products if you have the same type of product. Attributes, you could add attributes for a specific product. Um, options for a specific product or products. If you have manufacturers, um, you know, of your certain products, you can actually list them on here and attribute them to a specific product or products. Um, if you have downloadable products, you can add them here. And, you know, when purchased, the, the user is given a link, a unique link to download a product. Uh, reviews. You know, if you have uh, under every product in OpenCart, you have a review section. If I go ahead and click on this, as you can see, you can write a review right there. That's uh, stored right there. And information. Information. This is where you go to um, to make changes to standard pages on your website or web store. And standard pages would be these guys right here about us, delivery information, contact information, privacy policy, terms and conditions. That type of stuff would be on the information, catalog information. So that's pretty much, you know, everything you need to know. Catalog is where you would most, li most likely be for the most part if you're adding products, deleting products, maintaining categories, subcategories, um, adding attributes to a product, um, specials to a product, you know, coupons, you know, points, you name it. You would most likely be on the catalog. Extensions. Extensions is a little bit more tech, techy for non-techy people out there. Extensions is where you would go to for, you know, shipping, shipping and handling, um, you know, payment processing, you know, open cart has got um, multiple payment processors. This is where you would go to to configure your payments, um, shipping. You know, this is where you go to configure your shipping, UPS, USPS, um, order totals on the extensions. You could define what is displayed. Let's toggle back to the front end. What is displayed when someone adds a product to that cart? You know, this has been added to our cart. If I come here to my shopping cart, you know, what's displayed right here can be controlled from the order total section. You know, if you have product feeds, you know, this is, this is all controlled from the extensions. Models, models controls what is displayed where on the website, on the front end. So, you know, on the models, you could display, like right now I have uh, featured, you know, featured categories or featured products. You know, right now I have a test product which is featured on our homepage. You know, layout is on a homepage, content top, it's enabled. And that's what you see when you hit our homepage. That's it right there. You know, extensions. Sales, the sales tab, this is where you go to for orders, returns, customer information, affiliate information, coupons, gift vouchers, mail, I mean, you name it. That's all on the sales. System, more techie now. This is where you set up your, you know, taxation. This is where you set up your, uh, your taxation, your different tax classes, um, languages, currencies you accept. Um, user, user groups, your design, your layouts, your banners, um, general settings of the website, and uh, things like that. Um, reports. This is self-explanatory. I mean, you have your sales reports, your products viewed, 
you know, one beauty about OpenCart, it actually tells you what products are mostly viewed, you know, it even gives you a percentage of what products and how and how much they've been viewed by your your users. So you could, you know, if this is if a product is doing better than others, then you know you wanna you wanna promote that product more. You know, reports you can get more reports about your customers, reward points, credits, things like that. Last but not least is your help. Uh, takes you to pretty much help pages, documentation about the software. If you're more technical and you need more help, you can read information from other users on the forums. Um, very straightforward. Um, last few tabs are your logout tab, and this is to get back to your stock front, which is that. The beautiful cart of Pink Dahlia Boutique. So that's pretty much a rundown of your backend, where everything pretty much is for the most part. Uh, most, if you ever did forget where things are, um, you could just um, you know roll your mouse over things, and and um, you know most of it is the UI user uh, design for OpenCart is very very good. So it literally helps you get through the backend very easily. Um, but for the most part, like I said, on the catalog, this is where you would be for the most part, especially if you're adding categories of products or deleting categories of products or editing categories of products, you know, attributes, options, things like that. Um, also maintaining static pages on your website. This is where you would go to on the information. Um, this was just a quick tutorial on how to, you know, navigate around the back end of uh, OpenCart, uh, which is a wonderful open source um, shopping cart software out there. Um, feel free to ask questions. My name is Chris, and this is a video presented by Crystallization Inc. www.crystallization.com. Um, thank you. I hope this was um, educational, and uh, have a wonderful evening.